Now let us say what is the change of state. So, we know that when you provide the heat to the solid, let us say for example ice that will get converted into obviously the liquid, so which is nothing but the melting point. Then again if you provide the heat to that liquid, it will get evaporated, it get just converted into gas again. Yeah, so the next thing also you can show that, so the gas again when you just condensed that gas, it will get converted into liquid, again that liquid again if you freeze it will get converted into your solid. So this is how the change of state occurs, the phase changes of matter, so that is a solid, liquid and gases, so that is what it occurs. Now what is the effect of heat on the change of state, so just take uh, you can say vessel considered or take few your ice cubes and provide the heat. Yeah, so just at the same time mix that your mixture with the help of this stirrer also. So you will find that again keep one thermometer over there. So you will find that so when this ice gets converted into liquid at a particular temperature, yeah its temperature will remain same when its the ice gets converted into your liquid. So there is no rise in the temperature. So there is no rise in the temperature, so that is a very strange thing. So whatever heat absorbed by those your ice cubes, it will just utilize all that energy for the conversion from that your solid to liquid without changing its temperature. Yeah, so this is the effect of heat on the change of state. Yeah, so where the state is going to change again similarly at case of your evaporation also. You can say that, so this liquid is going to convert it into vapor without changing its temperature over there. So that is also we are going to call it as a latent heat. So the heat is utilized to change the state instead of changing the temperature, it is utilized to change the state. You can see from this diagram also, so the solid is converted into your melting state, so this is converted into liquid, but there is no change in the temperature, so this part BC, you can see on this diagram also, so this part BC where the temperature will remain constant, so this is called it as nothing but the latent heat, whatever heat that we provide it, so it utilized to convert from that solid to liquid without changing its temperature, now again the liquid starts heating. So its temperature increase, but again at a particular point there is a phase change from your liquid to vapor, so that is called as a vaporization without changing the temperature, yeah. So this is what we can say about your change of that your matter state from your solid to liquid or liquid to vapor. So now what is this latent heat of fusion, so the amount of heat that you are going to provide where it just get converted from your solid to liquid. So this heat we are going to call it as a latent heat of fusion. Similarly the latent heat of vaporization, the amount of heat that you need to provide so that it will get changed from that of your liquid to vapor. So this is what we can call it as a latent heat of vaporization. So these are the two heats of your that is a one is a fusion and another is a vaporization obviously the latent heat of vaporization is having greater value as compared to that of your latent heat of fusion. So this is again given by a very interesting formula that Q is equals to ML yeah so this Q is equals to ML is the formula for your this latent heat.